What's up? Hello. Welcome to the video. Alright. <laughs> What's up, Thrill Seekers? So, today, I have for you guys um, a top 10 video, and this is my top 10 coasters at, um, I almost said Six Flags, um, at, uh, bleh, what's it called? Bruh. Knott's Berry Farm. At Knott's Berry Farm. Yes. Um, this is my top 10 coasters at Knott's Berry Farm. Um, it's a great park. Definitely a, one of my favorites. I think it's number two. Um, definitely my second favorite park that I've been to, only behind the world famous Cedar Point. Um, and in my opinion, it's better than Six Flags Magic Mountain, which is kind of an unpopular opinion. Um, I think at least I've heard many people say that Magic Mountain is better, but I say Knott's is better. Um, but anyways, Let's get into the top 10, um, starting off with my number 10 coaster, and that is um, Timberline Twister. That is a tiny little coaster um, in the Camp Snoopy area, um, and fortunately, I am 6'9", or no, sorry, 5'9", um, 69 inches. Um, well, at least I was, now I'm 5'10", um, but that is actually the height limit, so I was exactly able to ride, so I'm excited that I was able to get the credit, um, and it's definitely not a great coaster. It's fine for the kids, it's definitely a nice kiddie coaster, um, but overall, wouldn't really recommend it um, unless you want to get it for the credit, um, so yeah, it's, it's just kind of up and downs and um, side to sides, it, it really does not do much, um, but it's it's okay. Number nine is Pony Express. I didn't actually know what to expect with this coaster going in. Um, I actually found out in the station that um, it was a motorbike style ride, um, so you're kind of riding on a pony um, as you go through the course, and it is a launch coaster, which is pretty cool. Um, it's not any sort of like super forceful launch or anything, um, but it's definitely better than just your classic chain lift. Um, it's definitely a short ride, which is why it ranks so low on my list, is just because it's such a, um, a short ride. Um, it literally just launches, turns around, goes through like one airtime hill, and then turns around, and then it's done. Um, so it's super, super short. Uh, but it's it's an okay coaster. Get it for the credit, but I wouldn't recommend it if you're not like a credit seeker. Number eight is Coast Rider, which is their Wild Mouse um, coaster, uh, and overall it's a pretty good ride. It's definitely kind of uncomfortable. Um, just I mean, all Wild Mouses seem to be decently uncomfortable. Uh, just with the restraints and, you know, you slamming into the side. But fortunately, it does have some padding on the side, um, which make it 100 times better. Um, so it's definitely one of the best um, wild mouses that I've been on, but it's still not great, for sure. Uh, that's why it ranks decently low on this list, just because it is still a wild mouse and it is still just not great. So uh, uh, again, uh, if you're not a credit seeker, uh, definitely skip this. But if you are, then you'll have an okay time on it. Um, it's not anything spectacular, but it's a good family coaster. Number seven is Jaguar. Uh, this is definitely a coaster that I would say uh, if you have time, then ride it, even if you're not a credit seeker, just because it's a pretty long ride and pretty smooth and just overall a decently fun family coaster. It's pretty cool because it goes through Montezuma's loop, uh, which is kind of a cool touch to it, um, and it kind of just goes around Fiesta Italia, I think that's what it's called. Um, it just kind of goes around that section uh, and it's overall, like I said, a pretty long ride. It has two lift hills, um, and yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. 
uh, just just a fun ride, um, kind of relaxing ride, um, especially after a day of like a whole bunch of insanely thrilling coasters. Um, if you ride it, you know, you'll kind of be relaxed, but still entertained, if that makes sense. So number six is Montezuma's Revenge. Um, this is the last um, Schwarzkopf, Schwarzkopf shuttle looping coaster, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and of course, I got to ride it, yay. Um, it's a pretty decent coaster, honestly. I'm not sad that, oh, that they're all gone except for this one. Um, I'm not like, oh my gosh, it was so good, I wish there were more. Um, it's just kind of okay. Um, it's just barely better than Jaguar. Um, and I only say that just because it's a little bit more intense and just kind of overall a more thrilling coaster. Um, but it's just not too great. Um, the restraints are okay, like everything's okay about it. Um, and it's just overall a pretty short ride. The launch isn't very forceful. You get a little bit of air time and the loop is kind of intense, but other than that, um, it's kind of just an okay ride. Um, I would say it's on the border of okay and good, if that makes any sense to you. Um, but yeah, that's, that's Montezuma's Revenge. Now number five is Sierra Sidewinder. It's the only kind of more thrilling coaster in um, Camp Snoopy. And overall, it's a pretty good ride. It is a mock spinning um, coaster and it's pretty good in my opinion. Um, it was just overall a pretty good ride. Um, definitely not the most intense in the world, but it's definitely fun. Um, I barely, barely, barely put it over Montezuma's Revenge. Just barely. Um, just because, in my opinion, I had more fun on um, Sierra Sidewinder, and that's really all I um, base my coaster rankings about. Lots of people are like, oh, more airtime, better. Oh, more intensity, better. Um, for me, it's just if I had more fun on it, um, then it's better, in my opinion. Um, so, on, in terms of Sierra Sidewinder, I had a lot of fun on it. It's a great family coaster. Um, it's kind of weird that it's in Plan Planet Snoopy, but, or Camp Snoopy, whatever it's called. Um, but it's, I'm not really complaining. Um, it's, it's a good coaster, um, weird placement, but that's really my only um, critique. Now getting into the top four. Haha, <laughs> this is going to trigger a lot of people, um, especially the number four spot, which is Accelerator. Um, yeah, so Accelerator is a great launched coaster. Um, I think it's the first Intamin Accelerator, um, the first coaster to use a hydraulic launch, if I'm correct. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that, don't quote me on that, um, that's just what I remember hearing. Um, but yeah, it's a great coaster, insanely forceful launch, which is, which is super great. You get a little bit of airtime on the top hat, um, and the turnarounds, or the, uh, um, like, banked turns are pretty fun, um, but they don't really do much. The main awesome part of this coaster is the launch. Um, which is 0 to 80 something in like 2.8 seconds. I don't know if that's right, but it's like somewhere around there. Um, so overall, it's a pretty forceful launch. Um, overall, a great coaster, um, but it's definitely lower than the other coasters um, in the top four just because it is a definitely a super short ride. Um, and I would rather have a um, longer ride than a shorter ride, basically. Um, so getting into it, my number three is, or getting into the top three is Silver Bullet. Um, yeah, it's the B&M Invert and my personal favorite B&M Invert. It is a great, great coaster, longer than Accelerator, which is why it's um, just by a couple spots beats it out um, in my rankings. And yeah, it's a great ride, great scenery. It goes over like a little pond um, type of thing in the middle of 
um, kind of separating Ghost Town and Fiesta Italia. Um, so that's pretty cool. What if I'm... I feel like Fiesta Italia is at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. I don't know what it's called, but it's like an Italy type of... No, it's not even Italy. It's like Spain. Okay, I've been saying this all wrong. Um, you know, the place where Montezuma's Revenge is. Um, it like separates those two areas and, um, um, Silver Bullet just goes right over it. It's a great site. Um, definitely famous for the Cobra Roll right next to the entrance. And that Cobra Roll is probably one of the best Cobra Rolls that I've experienced. It's not super insanely snappy, um, like, uh, like what's it called, Alpengeist's is, uh, which is my main critique of Alpengeist is the Cobra Roll. Um, so for sure, uh, for sure, for sure, for sure, Silver Bullet has its beats on in that aspect and really any other aspect, um, in my opinion. So yeah, I love Silver Bullet. Great coaster. Definitely, definitely get on it, um, at least once or twice, um, if you're at uh, Nosberry Farm. So, yeah, getting into the top two. As you can probably guess, my number two is Hang Time. I am definitely a Hang Time fanboy. Um, I love, love, love Hang Time just because, in my opinion, at least, it was super smooth. Um, even though I heard that it was rough, it's super smooth. Um, and, like, it's super free just in terms of, like, um, there's the car doesn't have a whole bunch of like super set seats with like um, Guards on both sides. It definitely feels free in my opinion It kind of feels like you're gliding and flying through the track, which is a super cool feeling um, And it has an amazing light package insane light package the first drop is Great, um, of course like just kind of hanging there. It's definitely a steep um, like a steep holding brake, which is cool, um, and it holds you for a decently long time, which is pretty awesome. The drop is one of the best coaster drops that I've experienced. Um, the inversions are great. It has a nice ejector airtime moment, um, in there, which is really fun. And overall, it's a great coaster. Definitely, in my opinion, underrated. Um, lots of people put it at like the number four spot or the number three spot in terms of um, coasters at uh, coasters at uh, Knott's Berry Farm, but I put it at number two. I think it's a great coaster um, and definitely something if you have flash passes at least, definitely something that you should marathon. Finally, number one, I don't think anybody's surprised. It is Ghost Rider. Um, Ghost Rider is a insane GCI. I love GCIs. Um, they're like really all of the, well, I've only ridden two GCIs, but both of them are in my top 10. Um, I am totally a GCI fanboy. It's definitely one of, if not my favorite manufacturer. And uh, yeah, it's a great coaster, Ghost Rider is. Um, it has some great laterals and some great airtime, especially off of what used to be the mid-course brake run. Um, that is a great, great, great airtime moment. Definitely one of my favorite airtime moments on any coaster. Um, and you know, I love airtime, um, especially kind of floater and flowjector airtime. And that is exactly what Ghost Rider brought to the table of great, great flowjector airtime. Um, so I love 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 um ghost rider it's in my top five coasters that i've ridden and yeah for sure something that you should um marathon if it doesn't have a super long line or if you have flash passes which is what we had um but yeah great coaster for sure one of one of the best and that is my list for top coasters at knott's berry farm um, in uh, Southern California. It is um, a great park overall with some great world-class coasters. Um, overall, my only complaint is because it's in such a big metropolitan area, it gets some crazy attendance numbers, which is great for the park. 
um, but also bad for us just because it um, all of the coasters have insanely long lines um, every single day of the year uh, so yeah that's my only complaint about the park is just the attendance um, but of course that's not not something they can control and really it's something that's good for the park um, so I can't complain about it too much um, yeah they definitely uh, take advantage of the space they have. If you didn't know, Knott's Farm is completely landlocked and they have developed on pretty much 100% of their land um, and they are still finding super creative ways to fit in coasters in different areas and all of that kind of stuff, which is great. Of course, Hang Time was put in a super small plot of land, um, but that's something that it makes it super cool, or that makes it super cool, um, is just how compact it is. And overall, great park. Uh, for sure, recommend coming out um, to California to uh, go to Knott's Berry Farm and Six Flags Magic Mountain. And that's really going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you hope you... Well, I can't talk. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Put what you thought of my list in the comments below. Do you have anything that you disagree on? <laughs> Accelerator. Um, definitely put those things in the comments below. Um, and I will probably reply to a lot of them. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be it. Like I said, um, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace out. Bye.